When I was younger, I was a big fan of the Little Rascals film that was released in the 90s. Absolutely loved it. And I always meant to get round to watching the cartoon series. And when I was looking at Christmas shorts on Letterboxd, I came across the Little Rascals Christmas special from 1979 and decided this seems like a perfect place to start. And I have to say, it's absolutely delightful and I really enjoyed it. This was directed by Charles Swenson and Fred Wolf, written by Romeo Muller. And I will say, if you're a fan of the film but you haven't seen the cartoon series, the same situation as me, it's really fun to see the characters and which characters were inspired by which and also the similarities and just how great the casting is in the film because they managed to cast actors that look a lot like these characters and have a brilliant job, really effectively done. This is set during the Great Desp De Depression and Porky and Spanky are wondering what they're going to be getting for Christmas. Of course, they're children, they don't really realise the financial situation and things and they overhear their mother saying that she's getting, well, she's on the phone to a department store discussing a blue comic that she ordered and they assume that it's this blue comic train set and what happens is a couple of beats after that when the children are out of shot we as viewers learn that she's actually talking about the blue comet vacuum cleaner and i have to say even if she can't afford to buy her children any presents i'm not sure she should be buying what sounds like a top of the range vacuum cleaner but nevertheless she's bought this and the children kind of end up discussing this blue comet and convinces her to get them the train even though she definitely can't afford it and she uses money that she was going to spend on herself to buy a coat and well I won't say exactly what happens I don't want to spoil it too much but the children begin to realize certain things they begin to realize just how much their mother needs this coat because obviously it's freezing cold she doesn't have anything to keep her warm and they show great admiration and great strength and a surprising great understanding of the situation and certain dire straits. And it's beautiful and heartwarming and heartfelt, but still funny. It manages to inject enough humour in there that it doesn't just become all you know downbeat and depressing, but it doesn't detract from what is, for many families, a serious situation. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's exquisitely done. It doesn't feel too Christmassy in the festive jolly cheer sense, although there is a Santa Claus in it. But it's definitely festive in the heartwarming, fuzzy emotional sense. And it worked very well. If I had never seen The Little Rascals, I would have thought it was a pleasant, festive-based tale about children who realise the situation they're in and do something thoughtful. But because I'm a fan of the film, it heightened that experience and it was a lot of fun to see you know, Alfalfa and Spanky and Darla and, you know, all of these other characters that I, I grew up loving uh, and seeing them in animation and it's absolutely brilliant. So if you are in the same position as me, I thoroughly recommend it. Um, I will watch more of the cartoons, more of the animated films or etc. I don't know too much um, about the history of the Little Rascals to be perfectly honest so that's something that I'm actually very much looking forward to exploring, looking forward to um, the previous films that came before the Little Rascals film that I grew up loving. Um, if you have any recommendations on that front please feel free to let me know. I don't have any specific desire on where to start. Maybe I should start with the beginning. I don't know. Let me know if you do have any opinions or suggestions either way but the Little Rascals Christmas special was something I hoped would be delightful and it definitely was.